I am sure most of you know who Madara Uchiha is. I am the ghost of the Uchiha, Madara Uchiha. He is the legendary antagonist from the popular anime series Naruto. But today I'd like to focus on a different aspect of Madara, one that has captivated fans all over the world. I am referring to a particular speech he gave that left a lasting impact on fans and on critics as well. And the speech goes something like this. Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Listen. Everywhere you look in this world, wherever there is light, there will always be shadows to be found as well. As long as there is a concept of victors, the vanquished will also exist. The selfish intent of wanting to preserve peace initiates wars, and hatred is born in order to protect love. There are nexuses, causal relationships that cannot be separated. You see, despite being the words of an antagonist, this speech has received the widespread acceptance and admiration. But why? Why do these words, spoken by a villain, resonate with us so deeply? That is what we intend to discover. We'll listen to the speech together and analyze each line to discover what truth it holds and is there anything we can learn and use in our own real lives. Because I sure have been impacted by this particular speech. So without further ado, let's get started. Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. When I first heard this watch, they made me stop and think about it. Madara was reminding us that life doesn't always go the way we want it to. It can be filled with unexpected challenges, pain and disappointments. But you know what? That's okay. I used to live in a bubble before my father passed away last year, unaware of the uncertainties that life can bring upon. But when I experienced that loss, I truly understood what Madara meant. Life is not always perfect and that's the way it is. But here's the thing, we shouldn't let these difficulties bring us down. We should instead find strength in them. We grow and become stronger individuals as a result of these difficult times. So what can we take away from Madara's words? It's all about accepting life's realities. We must accept that things may not always go as planned and that is perfectly fine. It is in those unexpected moments that we have the opportunity to learn, grow and discover our true strength. Accept life's twists and turns and find strength in the midst of difficulties. Remember, we all go through difficult times, but how we respond is what truly matters. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering and futility. Listen, everywhere you look in this world, wherever there is light, there will always be shadows to be found as well. You know, life can be quite difficult. And the longer we live, the more we realize that pain, suffering and futility are inherent aspects of this reality. We cannot ignore this truth despite how disheartening it may seem. However, there is something fascinating about this concept. Just like how everywhere we see light, shadows also exist. Life too presents us with contrasting elements. Let's take a look at Naruto's journey as an example. He struggled at first to master the powerful Rasengan. Along the way, he experienced numerous failures and setbacks. But here's the interesting part. Despite the looming shadows of failure, Naruto kept on going. He didn't give up and eventually mastered the Rasengan, surpassing even his father, Minato. This serves as a powerful reminder that despite difficulties, we have the ability to overcome them and become successful. So what can we learn from this? Accept the reality of pain and suffering, but keep in mind that it does not define us. Success and failure coexist in the same way that light and shadows do. We can overcome the obstacles in life and ultimately succeed by being patient and determined. As I shared this with you, I encourage you to stay strong and to keep moving forward even when things become difficult. Learn from Naruto's example and don't let setbacks discourage you. Instead, use them as stepping stones to personal growth and success. Remember that the road to greatness is rarely easy, but it is the journey itself that shapes us into better individuals. As long as there is a concept of victors, the vanquished will also exist. The selfish intent of wanting to preserve peace initiates wars. Madara's line holds deep meaning. 
It implies that in any competitive situation where someone emerges as the winner, there will always be those who lose. This concept applies not only to battles but also to other aspects of life. But what's truly thought-provoking is Madara's mention of the selfish intent behind wanting to preserve peace. It's a paradoxical concept that deserves our attention. There are times when people, even whole countries will say they want peace, but their true intention may be to cause conflict and war. This occurs when one party's desire for power, control or dominance is greater than their initial desire for peace. It reminds us to reflect on our own actions and consider the potential ripple effects they may cause. In one of the episodes of the Naruto series, Obito and Madara met each other for the first time and during that moment Madara was giving this particular speech to Obito. Madara's message to Obito was inspired by his desire for a peaceful world, but his vision was flawed. He desired a world in which even the dead could be brought back to life, which goes against the natural law and can have devastating consequences. This serves as a warning that pursuing an idealized version of peace without considering the consequences can lead to disastrous outcomes. At first, I too got carried away with this line from Madara's speech, a dream world where anything I desire for is possible. But in the end, as it is said, it will be a dream world and not a real one and we don't even know what consequences this may bring upon us in the real world. So even though it may sound good, but we have to be very mindful when it comes to bringing out peace in our own life. We can learn valuable lessons from Madara's words as we reflect on them. It is important to understand that winning often comes at the expense of someone else's loss. We must strive to strike a balance between our personal goals and the well-being of others. Furthermore, we must be mindful of our intentions and the potential consequences of our actions as they can have far-reaching effects. And hatred is born in order to protect love. There are nexuses, causal relationships that cannot be separated. When Madara speaks of hatred being born to protect love, it's as if he is reminding us that the intensity of our emotions can sometimes lead to unexpected outcomes. Love is a powerful force that we admire, and when we feel threatened or see our loved ones in danger, it can trigger a sense of protection within us. This protection can manifest as a rage or even hatred towards those who pose a threat. It's not that hatred is inherently good, but rather it emerges as a defense mechanism to protect what we hold most precious. Now the idea of nexus as causal relationships might sound complex, but it's actually quite simple. It means our actions and choices are intricately connected to the outcomes we experience. Every decision we make, every step we take creates a ripple effect in our lives and the lives of those around us. It serves as a reminder that choices have consequences, both positive and negative. So what can we learn from this? It is essential to understand the power of our emotions and the interplay of love and hatred. Recognizing the potential for love and hatred within ourselves allows us to make conscious choices to protect and nurture love while also finding healthy ways to manage and transform any negative emotions that arise. In the end, it is up to us to choose how to respond to life's challenges and complexities. Let us choose love and compassion and let us build a world where bonds that connect us are stronger than the forces that seek to divide us. And there you have it, we have journeyed through the deep inside of Madara Uchiha's speech, exploring its meanings and uncovering the truth it contains. As we dissected each line, we realize that there is more often to a character than meets the eye. And Madara Uchiha's words serves as a reminder that even the most evil villains can provide lessons worth reflecting upon and that truth can sometimes come from unexpected places. Thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Your support encourages me to create more content like this so thank you once again for joining me on this video.